This is probably the worst night for us to be sleeping in a Walmart parking lot. <laughs> oh my god. Where's the security guy? You see those flashing lights? We're Levi and Leah, a Canadian couple living out of our Toyota Prius to complete a road trip of a lifetime. We left our apartment in the city to spend the next year circumnavigating North America. This week we see the Grand Canyon for the first time, spend a horrible night in a Walmart parking lot and get overwhelmed in Las Vegas. If that wasn't already obvious. So, this is Leah and I's first time at the Grand Canyon. It is pretty hard to wrap your head around this. Like, I can't even understand what this is. Welcome to the Grand Canyon, everybody. Yay! I was able to get us three nights here at the North Rim Campground, uh, mainly because we needed a place to just like settle, get some work done, and also be in a beautiful place. For those of you who have followed the last couple of vlogs, we have had some of the most amazing boondocking in Nevada and Utah and now in Arizona. So our campground here is on the north rim of the Grand Canyon. Which only like 10% of the visitors who go to the Grand Canyon come here. 90% go to the south side, so we're like, huh, what's happening at this 10% side? That has been one of our best traveling tips that we've picked up over the last couple of months is figure out what the big attraction is and then just look around it and usually you'll find really amazing beautiful places with just a fraction of the people. It is kind of ironic that we're staying at the Grand Canyon this week when in just a couple of days we're going to be sleeping in a Walmart parking lot. <laughs> Sleeping in a Walmart parking lot, I feel like is like a rite of passage or something. Like <laughs> so everyone true. talks about it as especially a good boondocking spot, and especially when you're on the move to somewhere else, a relatively safe place to, you know, host up for the night. First Grand Canyon, then a Walmart parking lot. <laughs> so there is the Grand Canyon, and right behind us <laughs> is the lodge that we're gonna be working in this afternoon. So we have um some hey, stop. I see you guys. Oh. <laughs> um, we just got some beautiful coffees. Uh, shout out to George who follows the channel who helped me uh, find these beauties for free. Always need to meet someone who's uh, part of the team. Really? Yeah, he was really nice. That's so cute. Yeah. So Leah and I have just been working in this sort of conference hall off of the lodge for the last like two or three hours. It's been kind of amazing actually. <laughs> like this is our view, but it feels like a very giant office. <laughs> and this is the reality. Sometimes on the road, you know, you go to the Grand Canyon and you spend half of the daylight hours editing a video. Wow, and there is the rain coming in down the valley. That is spectacular. Oh my god, this is crazy. Holy. People have to go to the saloon. <laughs> what luck. <sighs> <laughs> oh my god, this is truly absurd. All right, I've been to a lot of viewpoints. We've seen a lot of parks on this trip. I have to say, the Grand Canyon is not overhyped. <laughs> what did they tell you? Maybe, maybe the South Rim would be obnoxious, but the North Rim is very spectacular. So you can see a full 360 degrees oh my God, you scare me. all the way around. Oh, I don't think I want to do it. That's really scary. That's really scary. Here, I'll hold my hand. Okay. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. What we should do is reenact for the video. Like, I'll go down with you. Don't, 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 don't. And then I'll be like, 
You're like, don't. Yeah. Oh, no, I, 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 I just like all this. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Hello, everybody, and welcome to a Walmart parking lot in northern Las Vegas. I didn't really know that was a thing. We drove into Las Vegas. I'm like, there's a north Las Vegas? It's, uh, it's weird vibes. This is probably the worst night for us to be sleeping in a Walmart parking lot. We are both sick. We have been fighting off colds for the last yeah. like three or four days. Uh, and I am about to get my period. So I'm tired, I'm exhausted, I'm emotional, emotional. So we kind of sussed this place out. We drove around a little bit and asked the security guy what he thought of us staying here. Just wondering what your policy was on like overnights here in the parking lot. Not it's no. not allowed here. It does seem like there is a lot of security at this particular parking lot for some reason. Like they have these little security camera setups. They're like flashing lights and things, which like I guess would deter people. Uh, honestly, I'm exhausted. Uh, we're coming up to one of the few places where we've booked to stay that's not in the Prius. And really, I wish that was tonight because I need a good sleep. Yeah. And I don't want to have to spend the whole night being like, is someone going to knock on our window? We're not at our best right now, but, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <coughs> wow, not sounding our best, feeling our best, but this is an experience we wanted to have. Uh, <laughs> put me to bed. <laughs> Why make me talk camera? <laughs> car and Leah's not pleased. Why am I? <laughs> I said I want to be in the car now. I don't want to be outside. I don't want to be in public. I'm done. No more. We're so done guys. I have a headache. It is very hot in here. It's only nine o'clock. It's only nine o'clock. We will see you in the morning. Oh I my god. I should take my glasses off. <sighs> wow. Good morning. From the Walmart parking lot. It's almost kind of beautiful. She's back. I'm back. How was that? It was great. Oh, I just had the audacity. I'm like, walk right in, straight to the bathroom, right back up. They don't need my money. They're a huge corporation. Well, after an evening in the Walmart parking lot, a review of Walmart parking lot sleeping is... I, I'd give it a, like a six. I don't know. I slept pretty well. I think we were just exhausted. We were so exhausted. Having slept in truck stops uh, in previous videos, if you watched our Prius Upgrades video, we spent a night in a Love's truck stop, and that was better socially because you felt more accepted there you know there's other people sleeping in their cars yeah and you like when you go in you check in you give them your license plate like they know you're spending the night there the bathrooms yeah. are open all night okay my favorite part is being inside the car and packing up everything so as soon as i get out this looks like a normal car levi make this a time lapse now i don't know how you do that Okay, there is a security guy. You see those flashing lights? He just came by the car, so I had to wait inside. He had to pick the right moment to emerge. There's also this dude chilling in his car, so uh, I gotta pick my moment. So we uh, went in and picked up our oat milk for our breakfast cereal, which is another perk of sleeping in a Walmart parking lot. Except everything is so large. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. I don't know what we're gonna do with all this oat milk, but <laughs> at least we have a beautiful view to enjoy it. So we are in North Las Vegas right now, which 
um, we didn't even know existed, honestly. And the vibes out here are very, very weird. It's like one giant strip mall and houses that are like under development. I'm like, does anyone live here? Or they just drive here? If you follow the channel, Not Just Bikes, he talks about the horrible infrastructure of America and how it's so innately inhuman. And this place perfectly embodies that. Well, you can't walk anywhere. I think when you get to like the main strip of Vegas, but I think that's what Vegas is all about. It's about this really condensed area and then just sprawled all around it, trying to support this like super extravagant thing. Even though I fundamentally disagree with Vegas as a city, we came to Vegas for two reasons. We're going to watch RuPaul's Drag Race. Yes, bucket list thing for me. And we're going to gamble $200 of Leah's grandpa's money. He wants us to gamble it. We didn't just take it from my grandfather. He, he wants us to spend this money and gamble. I'll send you money somehow. And when you win, you we split the profits. You keep the... Uh, 50%. 50%, yeah. Yeah. That's a good deal for that's us, actually. Deal. Yeah, that's great. That's a good deal. <laughs> All right, so we have just pulled up at the hotel where we booked months ago with our points in order to save some money. And this place is absolutely insane. It's like cars all around us in the lobby. There's some kind of concert going on just beside us here. Leah has been inside for like the last 10 minutes and like she just said, it's crazy in here, so I don't even know what's going on right now. So so where are you right now? You're in and up to the left? How long is the lineup right now? Uh, I probably have 30 people in front of me. 30 people are in front of you right now? Mm -hmm. Okay, well let me just see what the parking situation's like. Oh my god. This is the hotel lineup. Hey. Where, where are you? We just waited in this giant lineup for like 40 minutes just to get to the front and her to say, oh, you're at the Hilton Grand Hotel, not the Hilton Flamingo Hotel. Oh, the Hilton Grand Flamingo. This is the Hilton Club. I guess you just have to not sleep? Right, do not come and take a nap. All right, no napping no allowed. Nap. No. Wow, thank God for these two, this is crazy. <laughs> Everywhere. What the heck? <laughs> uh. Oh. Oh. oh my god. Well, that was probably the most oh. intense environment I have ever spent even a minute in. Yeah. We <laughs> even have worked in the hotel industry and That was bananas. I I have never seen anything like that. So we booked this hotel room a very long time ago with the remainder of our airline points or whatever, and uh, we had no idea what we were getting involved with, but no. uh, I guess this is Vegas, baby. Okay, we are heading off to RuPaul. Not matching at all, but- No, uh, not know. matching, but yeah. matching and adorable. Got the new shirt. From the secondhand got store. Got the shoes, the, the cup, you got the cup. Uh, I mean, I'm wearing oh my, my Birkenstock because they're the nicer shoes I have. <laughs> <laughs> but I put on makeup, <laughs> woo! Oh, okay, well, let's, uh, let's do it. ourselves is to gamble $200 of Leah's grandpa's money <laughs> at a casino in Vegas. He wants us to play blackjack. All right, G-Paw, this is for you. This is for you, Ted. I don't know. I'm just, I have no idea what to do. I'm so confused right me now. Me too, me too. Can't this is, this is not very easy to figure out. Okay, just stick, stick that 20 in there and let's just see what happens. <laughs> Literally no idea what we're doing. <laughs> this, you wouldn't think this would be hard, but we're not very good at this at all. Yeah, wait, this is at me. 
getting hit again? Is that yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, this? Yeah, this? Yeah. this? So why did we go to Vegas? Vegas, I think, was a dip of a toe into a world that I know fundamentally I kind of disagree with to see if I can understand why it is so popular. I think one of the most impressive things about Vegas is despite your critical engagement, despite knowing all of those things that you do, you really enjoy yourself. Yeah. It's a lot of fun because yeah. it is designed for you to forget about the world outside of this strip and to just totally abandon yourself. For us personally, the Vegas charm came on so strong oh right off the bat. And then I would say day by day, it dropped pretty precipitously to the point where on the third day, I was kind of ready to leave. We spent probably a total of two days on the actual strip witnessing the mayhem that is Vegas on a busy weekend. And it was objectively incredible. What humans have accomplished in Vegas is remarkable on every level. But we also saw other parts of Vegas that I don't think many other people see. Besides the shows and the gambling and all of that other stuff, we went to a local brewery, we went to an amazing vegan restaurant that's also a culinary school, and we got to do some secondhand shopping in like the coolest thrift store I think I've ever been in. So we got to see kind of like the real city part of Vegas, which was the arts district, and that was very cool. It felt like we were just in another kind of cool city. But we also got to see the north end of Vegas, which was incredibly dirty, very poorly developed, and frankly, kind of depressing. It was one of the few places on this trip so far where I have been very aware about locking the doors, even when I am inside the car. Like being in the car mm -hmm. by myself, Levi went into the gas station and then texted me and was like, hey, uh, maybe lock the doors. And on top of this layer on the fact that this is in a desert, that this is in the middle of a place that just should not exist to begin with. As we were leaving Vegas, we started looking up like how much of the water is recycled here? How much is solar power or hydropower? And I would say those things were higher than I expected, but definitely not enough to maintain the insanity and the opulence that is there. I think that's the main thing. Like the amount of water everywhere, the fountains, people cleaning things, the pools, and you're just so aware of how scarce and what a beautiful resource that is. And you're like driving through the desert, like where is this coming from? Yeah. Will we be going back anytime soon? No, I, I don't. <laughs> think we're probably ever going back to Vegas. <laughs> now, there was a whole other chapter of this story that we didn't even include in this video because the video was already long enough. Um, and that is provided exclusively for our Patreon members. Uh, so if you are interested in supporting the channel, uh, following along on our journey and sort of being a part of that on the back end, you can get access to exclusive content, monthly secret podcasts, and just like an inside look into our world if you want to support us over there. So there'll be a link to that down in the description. And a little hint, there is a cow dog and cowboys involved, so. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, please remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you next week. There it is, the, the, the Hollywood sign. So this is where we're sleeping and just across the street we've got the beach.